For the best part of the last two years, Maduguri, the state capital of Borno in Nigeria's northeast, has been cut off from the outside world. But a break in the long-term insecurity has given outsiders an opportunity to visit. Security in Maduguri remains tight. Because of continued suicide attacks, people are afraid to move around the city. This main street, once bustling with traffic, was very quiet. It was the same in the side streets. We visited a camp for Christians displaced by the fighting. The government prefers that Christians live alongside Muslims in shared camps, but the leader of this camp told us they faced provocation and discrimination when they were integrated. The circumstances for these Christians was far from ideal. Some converted to Islam to make their life easier, but it was felt this was a price too high to pay, and so the Christians set up their own camp. The breakdown of trust between different faith groups is a lingering consequence of the instability Boko Haram has brought to northern Nigeria. Life in the camp is hard. Almost 2,000 Christians have found refuge here, but they live in squalid conditions. When it's time to receive their daily rations, the people form long queues outside of the camp's kitchen. Until March, the camp received food from the Nigerian Emergency Management Agency, but this was suspended. The agency said they wanted Christians to move to the Muslim camps. To fill the gap, churches and individual Christians have given food, although this will be hard to sustain. Some people in the camp have been working on local farms in exchange for food. Children, playful and happy on the surface, are hit hardest, and this crisis will leave its mark on them. It's not clear what will become of this boy, who lost both parents to the violence. And he's not alone. There are many others like him. This group of children have all lost both parents. Christians in Maduguri have had every reason to feel hopeless in the last two years, but this new church, built on the grounds of one destroyed during the conflict, is an encouraging sign of change in what was once unassailable Boko Haram-held territory.